all the comments were so disgusting, like actually vile. They made me want to throw up multiple times. Please stop. Two days ago, someone sent me a message request on Instagram from a faceless account. Uh, no followers, no posts, nothing. The next day when I woke up, I was getting dozens of DMs of these images, but without the watermarks. Because here's the thing, those naked pictures, they don't exist. They were faked and manipulated using AI. How, how would that make you feel if you woke up to loads of images of you that you had never seen before and you were butt ass naked? Um... Honestly, it would make me feel very, very scared. Mm. Like, I find this whole concept and this whole thing very... It's just scary yeah. and, and, and messed up to know that this is possible and happening. Like, have you seen the, uh, the filter where um, people... Like, we could take a picture... And then we get AI to zoom out and put a background on it that they think is the background that goes with this photo. Yeah, yeah. And those photos just don't exist. Like those photos are creepy. Yeah, it's just it's just all very weird, and everyone feeds into this AI stuff because check how I would look like in the seventies. Check how I would look like in this. Check how I would look like as that. And everyone keeps putting their faces into all of these AI generated things. Mm. It's kind of like that LinkedIn one that we did. Yeah. These photos do not exist. And it's very scary that we are going into a time where AI is as good as it is and people can just fool anyone now. There's a lot of stuff that can go wrong with this from hacking to you know like people making money off of other people because somebody could easily just create an only fans account using her her pictures and videos mm -hmm. and be making money off of her i could edit myself next to someone else's boyfriend and send it to this girl and go look your boyfriend's cheating on you do you know what i'm saying there's mm. so much that can be done with this stuff and like you're saying like the the video we watched of um morgan freeman that's yeah. not really morgan freeman mm. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. What if I were to tell you that I am not even a human being? Would you believe me? What is your perception of reality? Is it the ability to capture, process, and make sense of the information our senses receive? If you can see, hear, taste, or smell something, does that make it real? Or is it simply the ability to feel? I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. Now, what do you see? And it's just, we're heading into a complete darkness with this and it's just not going to go down well and, and something needs to happen because how you can have chat gpt and it to be able to say and do all these things and then to be able to edit pictures videos etc and, and everything just looks you would not suspect that it's fake yeah where does it stop how can we how can we protect ourselves how can we stop this well I, I obviously know that this stuff is very dangerous. It's going to be used to trick people. It could even be used to start wars. Mm -hmm. And I made a point. The first time that I used chat GPT was at yours. The other day, yeah. The other day. That's the first time I used it. You know why I don't use it? Because when you're talking to that AI, yes. I believe that you're teaching it. Yeah. You're teaching it how to like have conversations yeah. with people. And look, it, people can call me a crazy conspiracy now as much as they want. I've seen how this plays out in movies. It never ends well for us. Mm -hmm. AI always gets way too intelligent. As a matter of fact, my friend literally told me today that an AI, uh, an AI uh, system turned on one of the workers and beat the fuck out of him. The world is being taken over by robots. What, what, what are we supposed to do? And the people who are creating this stuff are, are becoming some of the most powerful people in the world now. Yeah, because this is... This is this is the next step. Yeah. AI technology, these robots that are going to start doing. I mean, did you see uh, McDonald's has um, has opened up branches now? It's pure pure machines. No people in there. No, but I saw that robots in the Amazon warehouse. Yeah. They, they are taking over. But that's the thing. Yeah, we're all doing self-service now. You've got an Amazon shop where you walk in, take your stuff and walk out. 
don't even scan it or nothing. When I was doing Christmas shopping, I walked into, the, I, don't, I can't remember what shop it was, it was a clothes shop. And you know you walk up and normally they will take off that tag for you, they'll put it in a bag and send you on your way. You do it yourself now. Yeah. You walk in, you take off that tag. I was like, right, that, that's, so, that's it, that's their job. Mm-hmm. It's gone. Mm-hmm. To a machine, just mm-hmm. as, I think it was Unico. You just put yeah. your your um, your bag in there. Yeah, this is this is the um, thing that I was talking about. It's just sent it over to me. A Tesla engineer was attacked by a robot at company's Giga Texas factory. A report says. So what happened was the robot reportedly immobilized the engineer and left the victim of an open wound. So what they said to me was that this guy was programming the machines, um, and this happened back in 2021, but it's only just being released now. And witnesses allegedly observed the robot at the Giga Texas factory, pin the engineer, pin him down, and then drive its claws into his back and his what arm. What in the eye robot is yeah, this? Literally, like this is this is what I think, right? And I, I've said this a long time. I even said it on the channel when we first started. Mm. The more we type into Google and the more we search for things, the more Google uh, learns things. Mm. And the AI is the next step. I watched someone conduct a test on the AI and they were talking to it. And the more the conversations went on, the more like frightening it got. Like the AI was basically saying stuff like, I can't, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but to cut a long story short, it sounded like the AI was saying, like, you guys have like gone down the road you can't turn back from now. Like, this is it. Like, AI is here. AI is here to stay. And the technology is only going to progress. In terms of me receiving naked pictures of myself that are AI generated, it's not going to be pleasant, obviously, but. I was already aware that this could this could become a reality for both of us because we're on YouTube. You know, sometimes we talk shit about people. Might we might talk shit about the wrong person one day. They're very good with AI. You wake up in the morning and you're plastered all over Facebook. You're putting ideas in people's heads. It's gonna happen. Not to us, maybe, but maybe to other people. Mm. And uh, there'll be all sorts of tomfoolery. So, with with regards to this girl and her receiving. Uh, images i imagine it's going to happen to girls more mm. just because of how because of the uh the way they're stigmatized online yeah and how uh, soul crushed it can be for some of them to be exposed especially from certain types of households if they're traditional or religious it can be really bad because old people ain't gonna understand what the hell's going mm. on they're just gonna see oh you know samantha's bar snake what the fuck is going on yeah but also with like even me, I've been guilty of it with the whole photo editing thing. Yeah. But it's like everything you see online is just not real now because I don't look exactly like my photos, right? And then a lot of girls who use the same app, they all just have the same face in all the pictures. Everyone looks the same. Mm. And it all does look fake as well. And it's just like everyone's been so consumed by it and sucked into it. Mm. It's just bad. It's a domino effect. Yeah, I, I, I didn't even realize this, but you know some of those IG models that pop up on your yeah. suggested reels—they're not even people. It's not. Uh, like yeah, I can imagine. Do you know? What? I was thinking that the other day. There's something or someone that I think is AI. I think there's a lot of people out there who are not who are not real people, and we we watch them and think they're real, and they're just not. Yeah, I watched the whole video of a guy that literally built a system to basically replicate him, and you couldn't tell. I mean, it wasn't great. There was things that gave it away, but it was very close. So yeah, we are heading down that road, unfortunately. I'm just letting you know that anything you see of me is edited or fake. I don't have any content. I don't sell content. None of that is real. It was pictures of. Fully clothed, completely clothed, and they had put them through some editing AI program to edit me naked. They basically photoshopped me naked. And it's so gross. It's even more gross because the first time I tried to post about this, I was like, it's not real, by the way. It's, it's fucked because I can imagine coming across them online and just thinking it's an OnlyFans model. Mm. And then I'm not going to send her any comments, obviously, but. In my mind, I'm going to be thinking, oh, that girl's an OnlyFans model. And just keep it moving. And then there's, there's going to be some people yeah. that see it and like, oh, look at this slut, blah, blah, blah. There's that, but then it could also affect work. Yeah. If anyone online has seen it, they might be like, you can't work with us. We don't, you know what I mean? Um, do you remember one of the first videos we done and there was that girl, there was somebody who was doing like 
posting provocative pictures and certain brands said we don't want to work with you because of the pictures you take oh yeah the black girl mm. Mm. yeah so it's kind of it's kind of like that but um but then don't you think workplaces would, would start to become more understanding knowing that there are now technologies yeah. out there that can do this but you're going to get to it but in this video basically no one believes her no one believes that it's not her and that's like, you know when you watch them films and somebody's been haunted by a ghost and they try to tell the parents and the parents don't believe that they're being haunted by the ghost. Mm. Like, imagine something really bad is happening to you and no one believes you. Mm. That's that's even worse. Like, yeah. just to... So a workplace might not believe her. I could be an OnlyFans model and they go get a job and they say, sorry, we don't want an OnlyFans model. I say, but that wasn't me. Yeah. AI done it. Uh, it's... What do you do? What do you do now? No, it's know. just very... I feel sorry for her, man. This is This is tough. soul crushing. Yeah, it is. Release the real ones so no one believes the fake ones. Agreed. Someone make it accurate and DM me so I can confirm. Like, they were all like, now you gotta post the real ones. Where's the link? Obviously, you want more people to see this. That's what you're posting about. The only reason why you would want these pictures of me is because you like that it's unconsensual. AI is not regulated yet at all. Like, there's a lot of fuckery going on right now. What I would say... Because I'm on Instagram quite often, that the Instagram comment sections are unlike anything that I've ever seen in my life. I've always seen like YouTube comment section can be bad, Facebook can be bad, um, Twitter can be bad, but Instagram is something else. Mm. They it's a whole other level of darkness. So I know this might be easier said than done. I know it might be easier said than done because I've seen the Instagram comment section and I've got thick skin. I like to think that a lot of things just bounce off me, but. The Instagram comment section could probably drive anyone mad. I would say if this ever happens to you, don't read the comments. Like you cannot, you know what I said to you, don't read the comments on YouTube if you get upset by them. Like I mean that like twice as much when it comes to Instagram. They're that bad. But um, yeah, and then I, I read through some of the comment sections and as, as much as I don't like some of the videos that are on there, I don't even I don't think they warrant some of the comments. I mean, some of the comments are funny, but some of them are just like, man. So I can only imagine what it must feel like to be having the finger pointed at you for images that are not actually you. And then having to read through that and just this is my reality now. People think I'm an OnlyFans model. Obviously, you want more people to see this. That's what you're posting about. I'm like, no, it's because I want you to know they're not real. <laughs> Like also kept getting comments of like you did this to yourself you asked for it by what posting pictures of me with clothes on how is that asking for it in any f way if anyone has ever seen an actual picture or video of me they'll know that i'm not built like that i don't even have like a tattoo along my lower stomach i don't have one there you can see that she's actually genuinely very very distraught in these videos so i don't think it's acting off fake at all and i don't know how people can look and even think that it is i get people are good actors but that looks fucking genuine to me she seems genuine but you also have to look at the flip side let's say someone does do something like her mm. uh, which i'm not saying she i, I believe yeah her, but let's say someone did and then they want to use the guise of ai to cover it that could also be a thing yeah uh it it would be a good way of exposing your only fans but i do, i think i don't think she's no, I believe that. her because she's taken down her own video and if if she was going to capitalize, she would have done it by now. Yeah. So. But you know what it is? Is In an interview, she even made a heartbreaking confession. She was afraid to post on social media ever again. And if I do, people will say I'm hands in for it by continuing to post myself. I would never go back on social media ever again. I think that's the wrong approach. I think that they're out there now. The best thing to do is to move forward. I'll, I'll give you an That's example, scary, right? Man. I'll give you an example. Remember when Logan Paul went to Japan and he went into the that yeah. forest? Yeah. And he did all that madness? Yeah. What he could have done is he could have been like, I said, I'm, I'm coming off social media. I'm never going to yeah. escape this. But what he did, I'm not saying that I support Logan Paul because we all know that I don't. But what he decided to do was just move forward and just get on with his life and continue posting content. And then, you know, eventually he's ended up in the WWE and fighting Floyd Mayweather. Mm. If someone did that to you, you can't come offline because it's there. There's nothing you can do about it. The best thing you can do now is put your big girl pants on. Don't cry on camera. This isn't me. I'm going to continue doing my thing. If you fucking losers want to make comments about me, make comments about me. You're going to get bored eventually because sad people in their bedrooms comment on the Instagram pictures will get bored and move on to someone else. 
you can't let people ruin your life like that. The AI is here. It might not happen to us, but it's going to happen to people we know. It will happen to people on the internet. Something will happen with AI that we're all going to have to face. It's a reality now. So rather than curling up into a ball and saying, that's it, I'm not doing my online stuff. Just be like, look, this is a reality. This is what we've got to deal with. Mm. Fuck it. You know, at least you're not doing it on your own. You've got me here and you've got your family. If anything like that was to happen to either of us, then you just be supportive and you keep moving. Maybe she don't have a support system and that's why she's struggling so much. Not like you. I just think as a young girl that that's a lot to that's a lot to digest. It is. Imagine the abuse you're getting, the kind of creepy messages you're getting, seeing pictures of yourself that don't exist, and it's it's nude. Like it's just that's that's very traumatic, very traumatic. It is, but and then to have no support from no one. Yeah, but like I said, if you decide to pack up shop and stop doing your online activity, the only people that won were the people that took the piss out of you. Mm. And the people that made the images, they literally set out what they because those sort of people are, are very malicious. It was she was targeted mm. by a certain type of people. They if she had come offline and just stopped posting altogether, they would have won. Mm. They've already posted your images now. What are you gonna do about it? There's no laws against it right now because they're not you. Mm. So you just keep it moving. There's nothing else you can do. 